Hi, in this video I want to show you first how you can import FBX animations and use them with KinFX to animate characters, second how to do skinning or in other words how to bind skin to your skeleton, third how to use Delta Mush to improve your skinning. This works especially well for organic characters. First let's export FBX animations from external program. So this is Blender, I have my rig in here. I have this little animation, so I'm just gonna select it, go to File, Export, FBX. So um, I'm, first I'm gonna export this animation, and then I'm gonna export this REST pose. That's all. Let's go back to Houdini. Okay, so now we're on Houdini. We're gonna use FBX animation import, so we can import our REST pose. And here I'm going to import the animation. This is the animation. And here's the rest pose. And the funny thing with KinFX is that uh, skeletons are basically just curves with some attributes animated in time. So you can do funny things like, for example, let's watch my animation. And you can see the leg twitches a little bit. Now let's say I want to stop this. So, in, in other programs, I would have to reanimate it and re-export it. But in here, let's say I go in here, I, I split my leg, I'll stash it or freeze it in time, I merge it back together. So, remember, it's all basically all just curves, so I'm treating it as, as in geometry. And now you see the animation of the leg, the twitch stopped. So, this is how we can modify it. Modify it, and uh, you can do also funny things like you know, you can make a giraffe out of it, or I don't know what. So this, this is a really cool concept. Okay, and so here we have the rest pose, and I modified it a little bit because I, I changed the geometry slightly, so I want, want it to match a little bit better. And I'm going to use capture proximity to do the skinning base so now in here you can't see much something is just happening it's all blue but you don't know what so you can use uh, capture layer paint to see what's going on but now if you want to go back and tweak it you, you see all black er er again so what i do is i just go here i just pin it and select this and now now if i change something i can i can see the feedback in here Good, so I'm going to use Bone Capture Proximity to create the base for, for my skin. And uh, now if you want to modify it, it, this Capture Layer Paint is actually really good for it. So how it works, you just enter this tool, you can right, cl right click, and for left mouse I'm going to use uh, Paint. And for the right, right uh, middle mouse but operation I like to use Region Selector. So for example, I want to paint more influence on, on the leg. So I'll, I'll use middle mouse. Middle mouse. Uh, here you can see I selected the leg, and now I can paint influence. Or I want to select this region and paint influence in here. And, and once you're happy with it, you can maybe smooth it out and work on it. So you can use these tools for this. And then. You can also use this uh, capture override. Let me just unpin it. You can use this capture, use this capture override. So I'm gonna select some points that I wanna assign some weight to. For example, this head. I'm gonna select a head bone. I wanna add the influence to. And uh, now, if you watch closely, if I go back in here. You see some of these areas areas are not, don't have any influence so in here I'm assigning influences to these areas so nothing stays behind so you can also use this one it's really handy if you don't want to paint all these uh, hidden areas it, it can be very tricky so this one is really handy and once you're done with the painting you can use a bone deform let me just turn off my giraffe mode and uh, now you can see 
the mesh is deforming. In this example, I created a very sloppy skinning for the purpose to show you uh, how the delta mesh works. So you create like a very, very fast uh, skinning and it doesn't look really good. You, you probably would spend more time on it and smooth out the regions and so it looks much, much better. But uh, just to show you how the delta mesh can fix it really well is you get from this to this so it's a really magic tool and now the animations looks looks really really natural so it's a really handy tool and uh, the way it works in here if, if you read the pins you see here's the here goes the deformed geometry and here goes the reference geometry so here is my undeformed uh, basic model and here's the animation just plug it in and uh, now you can adjust the iterations the step size and so on and you get uh, this really really smooth and nice looking mesh and what can happen sometimes is uh, that you sometimes the parts get smooshed and uh, get really soft that you don't really want to have and you can't don't have a group or something to control it or uh, gradually you can only control like uh, for example I want to control these points so you see but there's no smooth transition in here uh, so what you can do is you can uh, paint the areas you want to have stiff so for example like these antlers or this mouth or the hooves and I also on purpose uh, selected painted this area so we can see the difference now you can use an attribute pop and in, if you dive, in, dive inside you see I'm just uh, okay let me back off I'm importing uh, this original geometry this like uh, or stiff stiff geometry and here's the delta mushed geometry so that's input number one here's an input number two and in here I'm importing the second input so the very stiff one geometry and from here I'm taking a position also from here I'm taking the position attribute and I'm mixing them with the bias being uh, the color that I just painted and I'm just gonna plug it in back to the position and now if we have a look let me just go in here so we don't have any color and as you can see it blends between uh, these these two geometries so if, if you want to have some some stiff parts like I showed you the antlers and so on you can you can use, use this one that's all for now thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video